Savard Sit Down, brought to you by Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Hey, you're off to another great start. I, mean, I would think your confidence is sky high. When you walk out there right now, you're just expecting to make everything you're kicking? Uh, yeah, I think even when you're not making, not kicking well, you expect to make it. You, got, you have to go out there and expect that. Otherwise, you're guaranteed to miss if you don't think you're going to make it. Yeah, I don't want to oversimplify things and make it sound like it's automatic. It's not. Um, but you've, you've kind of conditioned us to think that anything inside 60 is makeable. That's a compliment. Yeah, it should be. Uh, they wouldn't put me out there if they didn't think I could do it, and I wouldn't let them put me out there if I didn't think I could do it. So you just go out there and give it your best shot, and, uh, you know, hopefully it goes in. Yeah. Coach Fisher said he was putting you on a pitch count this year, um, watching you, thought maybe late last year your leg got a little bit tired. You guys have talked about that. Did you think you were tired late last year? Uh, I definitely didn't feel up to 100%. Uh, you know, the leg speed just didn't feel like it was there at all times or it would be there for a little bit and then it would taper off as you you started kicking more balls and warm-ups and in practice so uh this year i've just i haven't done as much off on the side uh just to try and stay fresh yeah we were uh, i i thought it was going to be must watch warm-ups in denver i was looking forward to that and you, you kind of shut it off at 52 or 53 i guess there was no point you know the ball was going to see i'll be on 60 if you needed to yeah i mean i think uh you might have missed one i did try a, so one deep oh, one. I did miss it. I did miss it. <laughs> I did try one deep one, uh, and the ball definitely flies up there. So, you know, you don't need to do anything crazy. Just know that it'll go. Just get a good contact, and you'll be all right. How often are you looking at tape or studying your own mechanics to make sure they're sound? Uh, fairly regularly. Uh, I know we always go up to Bones' office after every practice and watch uh, right away to see how we hit the ball. And then on my own, uh, I have tape at my house that I can watch and just compare it to how I'm hitting the ball now as opposed to when I had good days, you know. If I had a good day, I'll remember that film and just so I can compare and kind of see where I'm at and what I need to, little things I need to adjust. Other kickers we've had here before, like Josh Brown and Jeff Wilkins, say they would warm up and then have a brief conversation with either the special teams coach or the head coach about where they're comfortable at in the field that day. Does that take place with you and Fish? Uh, no, uh, I don't think I've ever. Uh, maybe one game last year when it was really windy, but being in the dome, you know, you just go out there and hit it and you know it from wherever basically is what I always tell Bones and he usually I would assume relays it to coach because uh, I don't think they'd put me out there if they didn't think I could make it so I don't think there's really a line per se but uh, we'll see when we get outdoors. Yeah I don't think you're getting outdoors until week seven okay so you got six I think the first six games are in uh, climate control when you do go outside at Carolina how much of an adjustment will that be for you? Uh, probably not any. Uh, unless it's extremely windy, but uh, generally uh, you just go out there and kick like you normally do, and if you hit a good ball, it's going to cut through the wind anyways, uh, and you know, that's my approach towards it. All right, if my math is correct, you've had about 14, you've had 14 kickoffs, 11 touchbacks. Is it, are you even, is it even stressful or even a strain for you to put that ball out of the back of the end zone? It looks like it's automatic for you coming from the 35. Well, yeah, that's a little moved up from college, so it's a little bit easier. But I think the biggest thing is the way Bones has it schemed up where we kick right and kick left. Uh, so if you do miss hit it, it will be shorter, but it'll still be in the corner. And, you know, teams have brought those three out, and they've got tackled inside the 15 every time because uh, we have great cover guys, and Bones' schemes are awesome. So uh, if you kick it down the middle, sometimes, you know, you probably get more touchbacks with clean hits, but those miss hits, you're going to, or be short in the middle and then the other team can do whatever. So I think it's more of a product of Bones and our great cover guys. So it's directional kicking both for Johnny Hecker and for you actually, right? Yep, exactly. Um, 49ers in town tonight, okay. Last year you provided the highlight with the game winner in overtime. How many times have you looked at that uh, since that went down and, and what are your memories of, of that kick and the ensuing celebration? Uh, I think I've maybe seen it twice since then. I try not to look back at the past too much because it's the past and you can't do anything about it. Uh, it was a good kick, uh, a decent game. I, if you remember correctly, I missed a 58-yarder in that game. And then as well, the first time we played him, I could have won us the game, and I missed another 58-yarder uh, and took a delay a game. And so, you know, you got to look at the ups and the downs. And so we'll see. Uh, it should be a good game. But in fairness to you, they are 58 yarders. I mean, a few years ago, a lot of coaches would not even attempt 58 yarders. 
Yeah, but we do. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you 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 have it different. You don't have a sliding scale, do you? You hold yourself to no, accountable it, for everything, right? It sh if I'm out there, it should go in, and that's the way I got to take it. And so when he puts me out there for 58 yarder, it, who cares? It should be in. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Greg. Thank you.